All right, hey all you straight fans, it's Straight Double Fox. Hope you guys are doing awesome. So we are getting a more news from DNF Duel. Finally, man, I haven't heard too much about the game in terms of like characters, patches, or anything. And uh, there's some stuff that's kind of going on with the game currently, but we'll talk about that later. For right now, let's take a look at what Arc System Works is doing and um, Nexon is doing to help with the game if they kind of go into detail. I haven't really seen too much of these trailers going on and then apparently there's a new character that's going to be revealed so i have that open up in another tab and they're saying that it's specter so we'll have to look at that too all right battle balance update buffs for more than 100 skills oh circle so they're going for the nothing but buffs route Gauge system, higher HP and guard gauge for all characters. Mmm. Awakening skill. Buffed awakening skills for more excitement. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna put you in certain states um, with uh, certain skills. Upgraded the evade system. Mmm. Defense system, more advantage for guard cancel. Ah. Okay. Oh, it's it's coming in December. Hold on, hold on. Again, these trailers are so short. Let's go back. Watch that again. Okay, battle balance, yep. Of more than 100 skills. So I'm wondering if they're going with the... Just nothing but buffs route. No, no nerfs, just all buffs. Our HP and guard gauge for all characters. Mm-hmm, buff awakening skills for more excitement. Defense system. Upgraded evade. Let's see if they'll hold up to their words. There's some pretty decent amount of games lately where they don't really all hold up to their words. And again, it's so short. But it's going to be here this year. So I'm excited to see what exactly they are going to do actually you know what i'm going to turn it all the way down because this trailer is really short and it's really fast so buffs for more than 100 skills i wonder if those buffs are just more damage or they just put you in certain juggle states because um dnf duel is definitely more combo heavy i would say it's along the lines of uh Killer Instinct, higher HP, and guard gauge for all characters. Okay, so games will last longer, which is nice because all these buffs and everything, all this damage output, especially with Striker, um, her pressure game is really immense, and uh, the fact that she could easily just guard break you, it's like, oh man, you don't really get too much time to react. Buffed Awakening skills for more excitement, so with Awakening, I'm wondering if there's more chances for uh, invincibilities. Invincibility frames, perhaps. Defense system. Upgraded Evade. Okay, so dodging is a bit easier to kind of get away from those projectile users, which is nice. And you really, then those projectile users are really going to have to think about what they're doing there. More advantage for guard cancel, so maybe more of a sense and a sort of like get off me move. That's what the game I feel kind of needs, and hopefully they throw that into the game. So more guard cancels, so just more get off me moves, especially again for Striker since she puts out a lot of pressure game. Uh, being able to throw out a sort of get off me move to get her to back off is gonna start making um, Striker players think about what they're doing, think twice about what they're doing. Because, uh, I mean, you can get some dodges here and there, which is kind of nice, but maybe adding a little bit more um, 
or say less less recovery frames so that way you can do things a lot quicker is hopefully the sort of grounds that they're going for but hmm oh man this is this is getting my my brain going here i'm super curious to see what they got going in terms of like all the buffs so again i'm really curious also to see if they're just going to go with nothing but buffs no nerfs all buffs you can see a little bit of the dodging system there so higher hp and guard i wonder if this is partly a reflection of uh some of the new buffs and implemented systems hopefully they really buffed um vanguard <laughs> i hear that um he's a decent neutral player the only thing is, is that i hear that his wake up isn't too great so i'm gonna be honest with you guys i haven't played too much of dnf duel ever since it had came out because i wanted to play online and just playing from the from the beta and a little bit of online from the game's release I could tell that a lot of the uh, stuff from the beta just kind of carried over and it was just super difficult to get in sometimes, um, especially with people who were using, what was it, Dragon Knight and of course the uh, the strike, uh, the striker users, because I wanted to play with everyone and that was essentially my goal. I wanted to play with everyone, try to get my hands on everyone, but I'm gonna be honest, I was a little too afraid because it's like I wouldn't really be able to um, to do just that because so, so many people were just using Dragonite, so many people were just using um, Striker. It's like, oh, I didn't really get too much time to practice other than against the, uh, the practice dummies, the CPUs, but it's like, oh, I want some actual hands-on against some people playing online sure i would kind of get sometimes uh get those grapplers um sometimes vet actually but not really too much vanguard definitely against um priest oh man the amount of stuff he can do is crazy for a defense character and hopefully they'll probably throw in like maybe another grappler character um there's a lot of sword character users right now or weapon users so you got Berserker, you have uh, Vanguard, you have Priest with his hammer, you have Ghost Blade, you also have, I forget the main boss's uh, name, but I, I believe he also has a, like, a Spectral Sword or whatever as well. So it's like, oh, there's a lot of weapon users, it would be nice to see more grapplers in the game. I don't think there's really too many fighters in VFO right now, just mostly guns and swords which is kind of crummy, but hopefully maybe we'll see more mages too um, in the future. I, I was really hoping that they were going to go for like another mage class or something, but um, all right. So we have our next challenger. Let's take a look. Hopefully oh, they show a more um, gameplay and not just like the character itself, but considering that it's only 25 seconds, it's probably just going to be a quick teaser out the new character. And hopefully they've reworked um, the witch. Because she's a little difficult to use. Her, her combo strings are insanely tough. And there we saw our Spectre for just a brief second. Come on, Arc System. Until next time, like, hey, we need longer trailers. Well, at least we know we're getting a new character, which is nice. When she's going to be implemented, I have no idea. And, well, at least maybe we can see what exactly um, she does. Take a look at maybe her moveset. As I have the webpage here pulled up. So, if it was Spectre in the trailer and it turned out to be true, I have it prepared and ready. Turns out it was. So, a swordsman who utilizes the secret art of the sword sheathing techniques. So, maybe more sword focused, heavy than um, Ghost Blade. Again, I don't know how how much different she's going to be compared to Ghost Blade. Uh, maybe we'll be able to see a small snippet here, kind of for gameplay, what we can expect. Ooh. 
maybe more parry based. I don't know. She, she, she seems very, very similar to Ghost Blade. She's got like a recovery slash. Female Virgil? We got female Virgil going on. If you wanted the male version of Virgil, you got Ghost Blade. And if you want the female version, here we go. We got Spectre. Hmm, I wonder if her Tornado Blade is going to be part of her combo set, or uh, move set. Okay, seems like a pretty generic finisher for Swordsman's. Um... Oh, man. I think it's still way too early for another sword character. They should definitely put in a um, sort of melee or a mage-based character. Some Virgil stuff, definitely Virgil stuff going on. Hmm. Well, hopefully they make her, uh, her ultimate or her super a lot more flashy <laughs> than what we saw there. It's like, eh. Okay, so she's going to be a ranged character, and she's going to be pretty good on attack, decent speed. Um, the supports, uh, I would guess, would be stuff like um, like Dragon Knight, where she has her dragon. Kind of help her out for some support. Her difficulty level here in DFO, she isn't the too difficult. Again, like I was saying, she's sort of a basic sword character. So I wouldn't expect her to be that difficult. Not, nothing compared to the uh, the witch, but as far as this goes, oh, that's that's the first awakening. Hmm. As far as that goes, hey, it's just more for the game, which is nice. It's good to see that the um, arc system works and DFO aren't giving or uh, DFO uh, Nexon aren't giving up on the game, and they're actually still passionate about the game, still wanting to implement new things into the game. Now, the question begs whether or not this is going to help them recover from all the player base that had kind of left from the game just because of how unbalanced the game, debatably unbalanced the game was at, uh, at launch. Of course, they kind of tried to throw out some quick balance patches here and there to help to keep the game alive. But it was just unfortunate because the damage had already been done. Not too many people wanted to jump into the game because of the skill gap and the learning curve of the game. And it was just unfortunate. Now, whether or not, like I said, this is going to bring people back to the game, I'm definitely going to come back to it because I'm curious to see all the buffs that they're going to implement into the game, all of the uh, or cancels that they say they're going to do, the supers that they're going to um, adjust. I'm really curious to see how the game is going to play, and I got my fingers crossed, hopefully a really good chunk of people that love fighting games will come back to this game, give it another chance, and hopefully put it in the limelight, and who knows, maybe we'll even see it at EVO, um, if not had been before, oh there we go, Lost Warrior, that's the boss dude's name, but yeah, another Again, another sword character. But besides that, like I said, I'm pretty happy to see that they're still passionate about the game. They're just going to be implementing more stuff into the game, which is great, because then maybe I can actually get back into it, start playing online matches, start streaming online matches, all that good stuff. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know what character you guys are playing, if you're going to be playing Spectre. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Straight Devil Fox is out. See you guys.